Hi, welcome to Mac Minecraft, episode 1, installing Minecraft on a Mac. First of all, you need to go to www.minecraft.net. Once you're there, click on the orange button, which is Buy Now. This is where you can create your Mojang account, the creators of Minecraft. Here you'll be asked to provide a range of information and then to register. This is include your email, passwords, first name, last name, date of birth, and then you'll also be asked to provide three security questions such as what's your dog's name, mother's maiden name, and the place you were born. Make sure you remember those in case you need them in the future. And then you can register. This will give you your uh, confirmation of your email and you'll need to open up your mail application to be able to verify that it's gone to the correct address. Now you can actually buy Minecraft, clicking the green button. Here for about $30, you'll have to go through the purchase process using a credit card or PayPal. Here you'll have to give your address and associated information. We've chosen PayPal because it's the fastest option. Fill in your PayPal information and then you can actually buy the Minecraft. Here you'll get a receipt and that'll go back to another email to prove you've actually received that. You'll get two emails, one about promotional material and one is the actual verification of payment. Click on a link within that email and you'll be able to choose your username or profile name. Make sure you choose one that isn't already in use and it's one that you'll be using into the future. You'll get one last chance to actually verify that's the one you want to use forever. Once you've done that, you can actually download Minecraft. We've chosen obviously the uh, Mac version. Once that's downloaded, you can move it into Launchpad or an applications folder, then it's ready to go. Make sure you're ready to install it, and then you'll need to put in your username and password to actually um, start Minecraft. One key thing in the new version, you'll actually have to provide your email rather than just your username for it to actually work. Once you've done that, you can save that, log in, and you're ready to start. Play the single player, multiplayer. And that's basically it. And find out more in future tutorials.